But there's one other mod that reinforced door. Wait, that, that's not reinforced door. That's an art. That's copper, bronze. What's that do? Uh, there's one other mod that I have installed, and that is a crossover between industrial craft and build craft. Now that one's a lot easier to install because it only has like three blocks that it adds, so it's not really too hard to install. But pretty much, uh, I'll show you how to install it in a second after I finish whatever I was doing, which I don't know. Okay. Saving chunks, quit game. Now, fix that. Uh, let me open up Minecraft real quick because I am going to need some open item ID blocks. I believe I only need like four. Four, but uh, okay. Uh, now just gonna find some open I item IDs. It looks like, if I remember correctly, in between here, 141 through 149 looks open. So don't need those anymore since those are all filled up. But in between the skull and the time machine, so let's do 141 through. 149. See, there's no blocks. You see the number skull 140. So 140 is in use, but 141 is is not because there's not a block n named 141 right there. So that means 141 is not being in use. And since it jumps to 150, all the blocks between 140 and 150 are not in use. That's what I'm hoping is correct. I'm going to check to see if there's any other open, large open spots like that. Which I'm guessing not, because I think... Um, okay. We'll see. That should be good enough, because there's not that many. Hey, can I have some free bread? Thank you. Okay, uh, Minecraft mods. I already know these are going to conflict with each other before I install it, because it always does. So, you go into the mods. Now, main mods. Mods... To install the crossover, this allows you to be able to use some some build or industrial craft like batteries with build craft to power engines. I just wanted something like that because industrial craft has some powers the power stuff. So what you do, you just go into the mods folder, drag and drop. That easy. I wonder if there's a config ready in there. No. Okay, and why did I exit that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that. I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm going to do that. You open up Minecraft. Get that folder real quick. It's going, it's going to crash most likely. <laughs> Any second now, it is going to crash. Uh, I just made a big mistake. I, I downloaded, I have the wrong version of the Buildcraft Industrial Craft crossover mod. Um, this is for build craft, a different version of build craft. I have a more updated one for 1.2.5, so I have to. I already, ju I just downloaded it. Make like I said, always make sure you have the correct version of the mod that you need. And I didn't download the correct one. And uh, where did it save it to? So yeah, uh, pretty much here it is. I accidentally downloaded two versions. One. So pretty much. Uh, I had to delete this one because that's the wrong version. I I did, made the same mistake when I uh, had the other Minecraft going, like when I installed it for my my series. So pretty much drag and drop in the mods folder, and now Minecraft should work. Well, not work. It'll crash, but it'll work. I got this uh, different error. Like you, you sometimes uh, there's different errors that you get depending on what how the game crashes. Uh, sometimes it says unknown source somewhere in there. That means you don't have the correct version, or you don't have everything installed, or there's something. There's sometimes things differently. But uh, okay, it crashed. Okay, that means I'm hoping that it was an ID conflict, most likely. So let's open up Mod Loader and read the crash report. <laughs> Scroll down to the bottom. And, uh, never mind. It's on the bottom. Okay, where is it at? Hold on. 
Oh, it's up right here. Okay. Yeah, it's sometimes you have to look. Okay, slot 210 is very occupied, blah, 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 blah. And I believe it's only like a few mods. So you go into configs right here. BCIC2 crossover. And it's only three blocks. So pretty much just change 212 to 141, 210, 142, 211, 143. See, I have those blocks right there. And that's all you do with that. Hit save. And just run Minecraft again. And it should work. I'm hoping I didn't do that too quickly. I'm really hoping I didn't do that too quickly. If I did too quickly, just like go back and watch it again. Uh, hold on. Okay, and it seemed to have worked. Let's go into creative mode. I didn't. I haven't shown you what the new crafting guide looks like. Uh, I used to use the recipe book, but it seemed to have had issues with. Uh, let me. Everything has to render. It's going to be low in frame rate for a second. But it had. It had issues with industrial craft, and it didn't show the blocks for it. So what I had to do, I had to find another mod called the crafting guide. Well, I'm just look okay, it has new engines and stuff. Good, good, good. Oh that's good to know. But uh pretty much here it is. It this is the new this is the crafting guide if you're wondering. It pretty much shows you everything in the game. How to make it scrolling down through everything. And one thing that's really cool about it, you hit set item, and it you do what you could do, you could select one item, let's just say stone, and it shows you how to what every recipe that has stone in it. So you could just like if you're looking how to make uh uh let's go let's see where are the gears because gears require a lot. Let's see gears does industrial craft or build craft have gears still? Okay, where are the build craft pipes? Gears, okay. Diamond gears. It shows you the order. Well, no, actually it doesn't show you. Well, you just keep going back and keep going and keep going. It shows you everything you need that requires it, like, go from there. It's a pretty cool mod if you've never had um, a crafting guide or anything. And you can just adjust it like this. And this shows you, like, where you could hide items from... Uh, I think this shows different mods. Yeah, this shows you like different mods. But okay, well, that's pretty much how you install all the mods I have in my series. I had some problems, fix them out, and uh, what happened here? But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think if I can help on anything else, but I tried to cover it as best as I can. Uh, if there any more questions just let me know in the comments because I'll, I'll be happy to help uh, it, it'll be harder to explain in text but I'll try to explain it the best I can it's gonna be tough like I said so but just leave your comments below this video is gonna be in a few parts so I don't know uh, how many parts it's going to be in but we'll see uh, so just let me know and I'm going to blow up this place. Hopefully my game doesn't crash, but we'll see. Okay. No, we gotta find a solid block. Oh wait, there's a button right here. <laughs> but yeah, so just let me know. I'm I I would I will try to help you as best as I can in the comments. Uh like I said, it'll be hard. Just like I said, double check you have the current versions of all the mods including all the base mods that you need also double check to make sure you have the all the mods installed correctly make sure you have the meta inf fi uh, folder deleted in a jar file and make sure you also have uh, the mods in the correct locations uh, let's see what else should I uh, hmm. 
make sure, and in order uh, when it comes to ID conflicts, some you can only have a certain amount of blocks in Minecraft. It goes up to 255, and the rest are just items. So pretty much, if you run out of blocks, it's hard to tell if you do. But if you do run out of blocks, you just can't have any more. Like me, I'm pretty much low on blocks. Look at that map. <laughs> you can just see a crater where everything once was. But uh, once everything renders, I guess I'll end it once it renders. But that's pretty much all the advice I can give you. Uh, I'm hoping what I said about trying to figure out, find an open slot wasn't confusing. Uh, sometimes when I explain things, I they make sense to me, but not, might not make sense to everyone else, because I don't know, it's just how I am. So I'm hoping I explained the best I can, and this video will be extremely long, so it will be uploaded in parts. All of it probably won't be uploaded in one day, I do apologize for that. So please be patient. And, um, so, huh, please be patient. Like I am right now, waiting for all this to render, because it probably went straight down to bedrock. Just get down there. Well, at least my game didn't crash from this, it's just taking forever to render. <laughs> I destroyed the kingdom. Okay, well, I guess that's about it, because it's taking too long to load in, because I blew it up too many times wasn't as bad as the one oh okay but um thank you for watching like i said i'll try to explain best i can in the description and not well i have all the mods listed in the description but i'll try to explain any questions you can to the best of my ability sometimes uh, i don't know everything when it comes to installing mods so if i can't a answer it i'm sorry but um just keep trying always start with a clean jar make sure you delete the mid and inf make sure you have all the correct mods installed in the correct places installed and uh, well uh, make sure the mods themselves just don't conflict with each other because some mods just don't work well together yeah so uh, that's pretty much all I can really give you on advice uh, again thanks for watching uh, let me know what you thought I'm going to have to do a lot of editing this video uh, just okay yeah that means I let me just pause it that way everything will render but so yeah so thanks again for watching and um i hope to see you i'll probably start my next minecraft series uh pretty soon so yeah look at that okay well it looks like the crater finally rendered out give it a second <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to end the recording in the bottom of this hole. Never mind, just going to end it here because it's not loading. Okay, well, goodbye.